There's a number of countries on earth where powerful people like to dress up in uniform, decorate their chests with medals, and declare themselves to be the lawmakers. Burma, now Myanmar, was like that. But one short, slight lady with a delicate flower in her hair stood up to them and helped to make the country just a little more free. The uniformed men weren't happy about it. The uniformed men recruited more uniformed men to do their dirty work for them, gave them guns and trained them to obey every order. Bend! Bend again! Unbend! Make a wave! Straighten up! For some centuries, England had been an empire-building nation. From 1878 onwards, England made Burma one of its colonies, which had advantages and disadvantages for the Burmese. The English brought order into the country, roads and railways, the law, education. But it was always English rule, and there were always some Burmese who wanted to be free of it. Aung San was a man who wanted Burma to rule itself. He took advantage of the Second World War and its aftermath to lead an independence movement. It was doing well until others wanted to lead instead of him. He was assassinated in 1947 when his little daughter, Aung San Suu Kyi, was just two years of age. Suu Kyi became a well-educated woman. She travelled the world, married an Englishman and worked for the United Nations. She returned to Burma regularly and after the death of her mother she became the leader of a democracy movement which challenged the power of the generals. The soldiers believed that all power came from the barrel of a gun, but ordinary people were definitely on Suu Kyi's side. She surprised the military rulers by winning an election in 1990. That should have made her the country's leader. But there were those who wanted to happen to her what had happened to her father. Aung San Suu Kyi was never allowed to rule Burma and many of her supporters disappeared into jails, and worse. Suu Kyi herself spent many years under house arrest, but she always remained calm and full of hope. Her struggle made her famous throughout the world. Pressure was put on the military government to release her and to allow the country to move towards democracy. Aung San Suu Kyi was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 but she wasn't able to travel outside her own country to accept it. She wouldn't have been allowed back in. One of her sons accepted the honour on her behalf. There's been some reform in Myanmar, and Aung San Suu Kyi is now a member of the Myanmar parliament. There is still, however, a long way to go. There's a number of countries on earth where powerful people like to dress up in uniform, decorate their chests with medals, and declare themselves to be the lawmakers. Burma, now Myanmar, was like that. 